Hi everyone, this is Marco from bnashgames.com and we're here with another classic capture. This time we're looking at Spider-Man 2 for the PlayStation 2. Um, the game that Treyarch made instead of... Uh, the, the game they should have made and, and stayed making currently instead of Call of Duty Black Ops and World Amen. War. Amen. Now, this game came out, of course, when the movie came out. Um, and, and this, in my opinion, this game has one of the few things that movie games tend to not have, and it's that it doesn't completely suck ass, and that I actually really like playing it. Um, Chronicles of Riddick. Chronicles of Riddick was also good. But, yeah, this, uh, but it, it wasn't like a big, you know, sequel movie. Now, the interesting thing is, um, for this, actually, they, they were able to get, uh, Tobey Maguire... And all the cast to actually do the voiceovers, and they did some special work for this, to my knowledge. Look at that draw distance. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Few, uh, yeah, popping. Yummy. Oh yeah. Yum. Look. Ah, oh, look at that interlacing. <laughs> that is fucking beautiful. Yeah, they, well, they, hey, there was a shine right there. That took a lot of <laughs> processing power. I should let you know this is on the PlayStation Two. For its day, though. This game looked pretty good. The cars it, disappeared. It, it was like at the midpoint of the PS2 life, this if I'm not mistaken. Story. Yeah, something The first like third. Actually, the first third. Boy meets girl. Boy loses girl. Boy meets I hate Tobey Maguire. So uh, look, this this is when he was still kind of sort of tolerable, and then three came out. <laughs> yeah. And, and what I hated the first game more and more because the first game here. let you swing around, I yes, but it didn't let you off. touch the ground. Really? You you can only go on the Sometimes rooftops, which I hated. I don't remember. The that. instant you try, they had a they the had a draw distance thing, thing where like New halfway York's down through a, a building, if you fell past that, it was all just black oh, and you okay. would die. Uh, so when this game came out, they're like, yeah, we're just gonna model New York City, Matrix, and basically allow you to go through everything. I was like, yeah, I, I, I think I want door. that. That's pretty high res, res image right there. Hey, yeah, well, it's but like draw distance, like popping. Hey, who photoshopped <laughs> that? <laughs> Seriously, yeah, where'd the bags go? I will say, brush tool. he, as a character, that actually does not look all that bad. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here on top of the building, loitering. Yeah. <laughs> I'm supposed to be fighting crime, but I'm breaking the law at the same time. <laughs> yeah, look at me, I'm a rebel. <laughs> Uh, look at my ass. I'm just gonna look at the look at the camera. Just break the fourth wall. <laughs> now I will say one thing. This this guy that is about to talk is was annoying a, as fuck. Well, was a narrator already, for the huh? first game. Welcome back, I guess. And he's still here. You miss me more than I and he teaches you. you how to do stuff. Anyway, and and I know he's important to the movie or the comic somehow, back. but I, I can't for the life of me remember what it is. As someone who doesn't read comics and, and found him annoying, I, my question is. Why? Actually, you know the the PS One uh, version of Spider Man One, not not even the movie version, mm -hmm. just the comic version, had a uh, Stan Lee as a as the guy that basically did this. Were they too cheap to get Stan to do it? I mean, Stan. This time around, I think they were. Okay. I was like, I was like, man, who like do you do you need to be condescending to the players like for the, for the first what we're what five minutes in now at this point after the loading you know after like the five minute load. I will say that the fucking tutorial drags on, and as you can see, I already kind of know what to do because it. For it, they controlled really well. It's still. It's it's okay. It's not the best thing in the world. It, that looked like he was trying to take a shit and just couldn't do it, so he jumped instead. Uh, for example, there, there's a there's a couple of uh, special abilities that he unlocks as you progress the game that allow him to jump higher or do more spins in the air. You kind of get used to that, and you can't really go back to the point where you don't have it. So. I feel really limited. Uh, you got a spider Pokeball right there in the top left hand. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, he has an ability where he can just infinitely uh, run up the wall. Here he's limited by like three seconds, which is a pain in the ass. Um, I don't know. Overall, it was one of those games where it's like Grand Theft Auto. It's a sandbox game. But you have the missions, and if you really wanted to, you could just go fuck around in the town. That's what I usually like to do. Um, and there are, of course, the, the, the missions that pertain to the, the movie, and then there's the side missions that didn't exist in the movie, like Spider-Man. My little girl lost her balloon. I need you to climb up this fucking building. Get it. Oh. 
Hey, I wouldn't tell you okay. to do something Okay, I should be helping those why? people that are getting mugged down the street. This guy Morpheus right here, just like electric arrow, electric green arrows just come out of nowhere. I was like, ah, fuck that. I'm just gonna go over here. <laughs> That's right. I'm a rebel. You. You know, there's a God, <laughs> loser. <laughs> fucking bastard. So what now, I, I, I just, I was like face palming the entire time. Like, really? Is this guy really? Huh. You really having to listen to this guy? Than you look. And then he's like, Good for you. yes, I am smarter than you thought. So, yeah. Now, one of the things I also liked is if if you, you get a good enough momentum going, you get that really nice speed effect. And, and it's not Let's super overdone right now because he doesn't have the full speed boost. What but once once you do, he, it, it can go fucking about, crazy. What was the name of the you know, line that you say. kept saying? I don't have it. I don't uh, have web, it. Web's it. Uh, basically, what he does is right now he's just swinging. Um... From building to building, uh, WebZip basically allows you to look at a wall. He will shoot a line and use both of his hands to propel himself towards it. So, like, rather than me having to use the other buildings, you basically just go from where you are to that wall immediately. Um, Infamous uh, 2, when you play the good story uh, line, actually has an ability that's very, very similar to that, which I thought was awesome because I was like, wait, uh, Infamous 2 would be awesome if you could, you know, do this. Okay. And it I'm made back. me think, hey, Sucker Punch should do this game. But make it, like, not story-based. Make it not Spider-Man would be probably the better idea. Here. No, I, I I wouldn't mind that. I would buy that. And, and here I was just trying to see. Uh, the controls by default the are lesson, inverted, which about. takes a little hey. getting used to. Hey. What's going on down um, there? Yeah, web, web zip is definitely Stop, one of those please. things that once you unlock well, is kind of useful. Convenient. And you get really yeah, used to it, and it makes you just able to go from any point to any away. point. Um, that was probably the like thing that I wanted over, the most. But, all the stuff you but together and get into I don't know, this is this is always one of the games that, use the destination marker after map, my PS2 messed up, I, I wanted to get again. Like the robbers are escaping on I mean, I don't see myself playing this as much as anything else, but for nostalgia, this is one of the ones that I wanted again. Um... I mean, the, the battle system is really basic, and it's basically just a beat em up with the ability to run around, but that's what I loved about it, that you could just go and fuck around and jump from the highest building in the game, and, you know, just to see, oh, yeah, let's play chicken. <laughs> Let, let's see if uh, if I'm going to die or if I'm going to live. And uh, I, I didn't remember how to do this, and, and I'm remembering right now that you can. There's a way where you can actually cocoon them and uh, post them up on, like, a... Uh, Traffic Walls lights, and yeah, and traffic lights and stuff. You should have hit that woman more. <laughs> I don't advocate hitting women, but it's virtual, so you know she's she had an attitude. And then the arcade of all places. Listen, why would you? Let's let's rob the arcade. <laughs> now the funny thing is the way you upgrade your um your abilities is going to the arcade. Well, Marco was like, I don't. Uh, uh, the no, not the arcade. The um, the comic book store. Which, uh, hey, <laughs> that's funny. Great. This map is now real. this map I like because you can see the cars, and that's kind of a nice little touch. Although it is the slowest fucking map to navigate, and it doesn't let you set a waypoint, which I I think I'm so used to now. Would be a sin today. Yeah, that that does not fly now. It's like, oh, I have to make a left here, make a right here. Not oh, goddamn it, I made a left and then a left. Then I'm done. Just doesn't. He just doesn't I, know what he likes. I, what he I really like. didn't. I it, it. <laughs> like load screen. This is what the load screen looks like. The, the thing is, when you're in the air, if you have it inverted, it feels right. But when you're on the ground, it doesn't. And if you don't have it inverted, when you're on the ground, it feels perfectly fine. But when you're in the air, it doesn't work very well. Uh, it's the inverted between air and and the the ground, which is kind of annoying. But once you get used to it, you don't really notice. Buy some See, upgrades. Yeah, buy some upgrades. The, the swing speed, uh, you can do his strength, his health, um, what kind of tricks he can do in the air, which would give you um, the ability to fill up the blue bar, which uh, allows you to dodge attacks and do other cool things. It had a lot of the CGI, which... Not bad, actually. This this looks pretty good still. Yeah, but he's talking. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. A, I I'm not a comic book fan. And I'm just like, eh, eh, whatever. I, I, I'm not by any means either. Look, but if I, Neo was there, Neo would have fucked him up. Okay. <laughs> Where the hell did he? 
you know, in retrospect, where did he swing from for that one? Um, <laughs> space. <laughs> I've been wanting to say that. And here's Alfred Molina. Isn't it beautiful, Rosie? Who I always this hated how he looked here. He looks like, uh, he looks like, uh, that, what's that wrestler? The giant one? Uh, I know who you're talking about. Andre. Andre the giant. <laughs> Andre the he kind of looks like Andre the devil. Kind of. Just the face, at least. <laughs> yeah, hey. Hey. That's a big ass sandwich. That is the way things should be. I'm not yes. getting it at anything. Stereotypes. Yes. I, I'm not getting at anything. And I love my girlfriend, but I, I'm getting at something. And I, I approve. God, this guy is so I, fucking annoying. I, I, it's, it's not as bad as you keep just go going because he, he just kind of stops talking after a point. Yeah, but we, this intro is pretty bad. Actually, there. when you play through the second time, it lets you skip all this. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> yeah, I. That's just suffer once through the entire game. Oh, no. Yeah. Dr. Connor's class. I got so caught now, up in what the, I was doing, the thing about, about wall running, and it is useful when, when you know, you're trying to get up a building, if you want to scale up, it works, but it fights you unless you have the infinite one, because once he stops running, and it's only about three seconds at the level I'm at currently, uh, the character is set up in a way where he trips out, and he just starts crawling, and the way you're controlling it, once he does that, he starts running down instead. So, the only way to fix that is to get the infinite one, which lets you infinitely just keep running up that wall. And you don't get that until about halfway in the game. As I've never played it before, it looks painful to control. Just watching you, I was like, God damn. You do have to fight it. It's like, God, that, you that, do that looks I will, like I will a ton of fun right you there. You do have to fight it, but once you get the hang of it... Well, I, I, w the thing that we're not going to show here, unfortunately, because we don't have the 20 hours... So when you put it to the manual swinging, it oh. was easier. Yeah, uh, the thing is, I, so I was used to the no, manual swing without realizing it. Help By me. default, the, the uh, easy swing will just basically grab onto whatever it wants. There, where the manual swing Sorry, will, will allow you to have more maneuverability and will also allow you to do a thing where you can send two separate webs to two separate walls which you can then use to propel yourself, kind of like a zipline, but not really, because the zipline is still much more useful. This is House of the Dead level acting right there. This is, yeah, this is some fucking horrible voice acting. Everyone except the main movie characters has horrible acting for this game. No, G. <laughs> Sorry, G. You know, you think for someone who's supposed to have superpowers, one punch would be enough? <laughs> hey! Just you leave you leave him and his hipster lifestyle alone. Yeah, see, he little known fact: Peter Parker was one of the original hipsters. He's a, he's a Starbucks. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, well, it's, it's Wall Street. Fishinata. No, I was gonna, I was gonna say investor. <laughs> Stockholder. He's a yes. <laughs> That's not foam he's putting in there. <laughs> hey! Oh, whoa! Interesting. <laughs> I didn't, I've never even thought about that. <laughs> Well, hipster, hipster to the amp, to the max, man. Still get the fuck out of here. Like, God damn it, son of a bitch. You can't kill him? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, it's got, like, hey, it's the Pokemon effect. Hey, make sure you hold on to your shit better next time. God damn it. Hey, don't touch, don't hey, touch, baby. don't touch Stig. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I can't well, tell you what's in the box. Just, uh, just give it back Don't to worry. me. Just nuclear launch codes. <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, this was a classic capture for Spider-Man 2. Uh, Marco does most of the talking for this one because it is something he loves. Uh, please subscribe and let us know what you think. Uh, stay tuned for the greatest fall of all time. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Thank you. This made me sad. <laughs>